Hello everyone. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Amit Kumar Pal. I am currently fourth year undergraduate student at Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur. And uh, today in this session, we will be starting with a chapter of mathematics that is binomial theorem. So, and uh, this is an important chapter in algebra field. And uh, basically, we will be starting with a brief introduction of this chapter. So. Before starting with this chapter, uh, a brief introduction about myself. So, uh, I cleared my J advance in 2020 and currently I'm pursuing my electronics and electrical communication undergraduate at uh, IIT Kharagpur. So, I'm currently from Lucknow and uh, today I'll be here to discuss this chapter with you all. Okay, so that's all about myself. And uh, uh, without further delay, uh, we'll be get started with, with this chapter. Okay, so. Yes, if uh, I describe about this chapter, what this chapter is all about. So, uh, this chapter ka basically origin of our exponential expansion sales. So, like uh, if I start with uh, something called a plus b whole square, so we have a lot of studied in this chapter. It is simply a plus 2ab plus b square. Okay, ye to sabhi ko pata hai, but uh, uh, how to Mm, utilize this for some large exponents. Let's say uh, we are given some uh, very big exponent. Let's say a plus b to the power five. Let's say. So how to expand this? So uh, basically, uh, binomial was a method given to expand such kind of exponent where the exponent is very large, or it might be any general exponent. Okay. So uh, basically. You have to just remember that there are two terms here a and b okay so like every term would be something for form of a to the power r and b to the power n minus r in other words the sum of these two exponents will always be equal to n okay n is where any exponent of this number okay and there will be some constant term c okay and uh, there will be number of terms, such terms, okay, not a single terms, okay. So there will be something called C i i equal to zero to n, okay. So this is a general formula for the expansion of uh, this uh, binomial uh, series, okay. So you can say there will be total n plus one terms for any exponent n, okay. Uh, so like if we go with the something called pascal triangle okay so the pascal was the first to analyze uh, the coefficient relationship you know, for these kind of exponent okay like uh, what happened um, there will be some terms like uh, some terms of a to the power 5 c1 a to the power 5 plus c2 a to the power 4 b to the b to the power 1 plus c3 a to the power 3 b to the power 2 plus uh, c4 a to the power 1, b to the power 4 plus c5, b to the power 5. Okay, this would be general extension of a plus b to the power 5. Okay, and uh, these coefficient relationship are analyzed by the Pascal. So you can see here as well, like uh, there is uh, uh, like this is given here the Pascal triangle which uh, describes about the uh, coefficient relationship. Okay, so but this might not be always possible to remember all these coefficients but uh, so there is a, a general formula like uh, if you know about the concept of factorial so these coefficients are nothing but uh, like uh, if you are analyzing the coefficient i i is coefficient okay c i so this is nothing equal to n c i okay where n c i is n factorial upon n minus uh, i factorial into i factorial okay so this is a, a general formula okay so we can write a general formula for the expansion of a to the power a plus b to the power n okay so it's the general formula of i equal to zero to n summation of n c i a to the power n minus i and b to the power i okay so this is all about our general formula how we expand our binomial form. so the whole chapter is based around this expansion where every time you have to just remember about this expression okay 
and you are already familiar with the concept of uh, permutation and combination that uh, how to expand uh, mci and what are the properties of uh, mcr okay like uh, you know that M mci is equal to m c n minus i okay this is also a property okay and, uh, there are some other properties also that you must have learned in the chapter that is permutation and combination so we'll also be revising those properties here as well and uh, uh, one thing that is special to notice about is that if we expand this formula, then this will be something like mc0 a to the power n plus mc1 a to the power n minus 1 b1 plus mc2 a to the power n minus 2 b2 plus dash dash. And this will be something like mc n minus 1 a b to the power n minus 1 plus mc n a to the power the 0, b to the power n, okay. Or there will be no times of a, okay. So you can see that this coefficient and this coefficient, this coefficient, this coefficient, and this coefficient, these are equal. So you can say that uh, the coefficient which are at equidistance from beginning and end have an equal coefficient, okay. So this is an important observation that. Uh, the coefficient equivalent from beginning and end okay so yeah important observation and uh, so there are uh, some other observations like uh, if you are asked uh, RF terms, okay. So you can say like uh, this is our first term, so this is our second term, this is our third term, this is uh, our so on terms, okay. So the RF term, the coefficient would be MCR minus 1, okay. This won't be not, this is not MCR, okay. RF term won't be MCR, it would be MCR minus 1, okay. 1 less, okay. So this is also, and uh, another term is uh, what is a maximum coefficient, okay. So you know that in a binomial there will be terms like mc1, mc2, mc3, mc4, mc5 and so on. This would be sometimes an mc uh, n minus 1 and mc n. Okay. This would be terms. Okay. So what is the maximum term? You know that uh, this would be a sum value and the same value will also be this and this value and this will be value will also be same. Okay. There will be MC zero. Okay, so this uh, this same and this and this same. Okay, so uh, you can uh, assume something like uh, this value will will be firstly increasing up to certain value and this will start uh, decreasing. Up, okay, so there will be some maximum value of coefficient in, in between. Okay, so this maximum value is nothing but uh, the mid value. Okay. So like uh, if uh, n is even, okay, then the maximum value will be n c n by two, and if n is uh, odd, then the the value n c n minus one by two and uh, n c n plus one by two both will be mm, globally maximum values. Okay, so this is also an important thing that you will need to uh, keep in mind uh, while you are doing the exercise and problems related to binary theorem okay so this is something that uh, uh, permission chapter maybe uh, maximum value coefficient uh, coefficient ki tab hoti hai jab ye jo base hota hai iska ye numerically half equal to total value okay so these are the things and uh, if you see some expression like uh, that illustration given here, okay, so uh, like uh, 
if you see some illustration here then uh, like if you see this illustration here like this one okay so you can see x plus 2 to the power 6 uh, here we have expanded this extension okay so like uh, how we have expanded this term okay so you can see the coefficient this is 6c0 6 6c1 6 6 62 6 c3 64 65 66 okay and you can also observe the exponent here you can consider x to be equal to a and 2 equal to b okay so this is something like a to the power 6 this is a to the power 5 b to the power 1 this is a to the power 4 b to the power 2 okay and so on so this is the usual way we expand uh, the binomial terms okay uh, there are many other conclusions that uh, conclusions or relationship that you can main make um, by using those binomial coefficient okay so uh, like uh, you know the coefficient uh, expansion of a plus b to the power n okay this is summation of the uh, MCR a to the power n minus r b to the power r okay. r is uh, 0 to n okay and if you replace uh, b by minus b okay then this is a minus b to the power n this is equal to summation r equal to 0 to n MCR a to the power n minus r and minus or b to the power r okay so uh, हमें पता है कि ये नेगेटिव कब होगा सो so, जब भी r नेगेटिव हो r ऑड होगा ओके लेट्स से r इक्वल टू 1 3 5 7 9 एंड सो ऑन ओके ये होगा तब ये क्या होगा माइनस uh, 1 टू द पावर ऑड होगा एंड माइनस 1 टू द पावर ऑड नेगेटिव होता है ओके सो द कोफिशिएंट लाइक mc 0 a टू द पावर n एंड द फर्स्ट टर्म वुड बी नेगेटिव ओके mc 1 a to the power n minus 1 b second term would be positive okay and c2 a to the power n minus 2 b2 and uh, minus and c3 a to the power n minus 3 and b to the power 3 okay so and so on okay so you can see uh, the terms like and c1 and c3 and c5 these term would be negative and rest of the term would be positive okay uh, or you can also see, also say that uh, half of the term would be negative and half of the term would be positive okay and uh, here another important uh, relationship is this this is a uh, a equal to one as in color so this is an important relationship to be kaafi used to be bossy karate so it's called dhamna rakhna rakhna ko ki ये मतलब बहुत जनरल एक्सपेंशन है जिसमें a को 1 अस्यूम कर लेते हैं तो ये सिंपल एक्सपेंशन हो जाता है nc0 nc1 x plus nc2 x स्क्वायर एंड सो ऑन ओके हां देयर आर सम द स्मॉलर स्मॉलर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस बाइनोमियल एक्सपेंशन लाइक यू कैन सी इन दिस एग्जांपल व्हिच इज लार्जर वैल्यू सो हियर दे जस्ट कन्वर्टेड दिस 1.01 एज अ 1.01 as a 1 plus and by uh, binomial expansion we can compare which one is greater okay so these are some application that will be seen in this chapter as well in the exercise part okay so like uh, if we start with the exercise part now then let's say we expand the second question okay So you know that uh, the expansion would be uh, there is some negative sign okay so you know that uh, the terms like nc1 nc3 nc5 these would be negative and rest of the term would be positive okay so uh, this would be something like 5c0 to yx to the power 5 minus 5c1 to yx to the power 4 and uh, x by 2 this would be 5c2 2 by x to the power 3 and x by 2 whole square and then this would be minus of 5c3 2 by x to the power 2 and x by 2 to the power 3 okay less so 5c4 
so if we quickly expand this term so this would be like uh, 5c0 is 1 so this would be 32 b power x by 5 minus 5c1 is so 5 so this 5 into 16 by 2 okay, so this would be 40 okay. 1 by x to the power 4 into x so this would be x cube okay 5c2 is 10 and uh, this is 8 by 4. Okay, so this would be 20 by x, 1 by x cube into x square. So this would be x again. Yes, so 5c3 is again 10, 10 into 10 by 2. Okay, so this would be 5x. And plus, so this would be 5 by 8 x cube minus x to the power 5 by 32 okay so this would be complete expression of this expression so uh, this is the usual method uh, we'll be expanding the terms okay So if we uh, quickly put another question that is let's say question number five or question number five, then this would be x plus one by x to the power six. Okay, so this would be nothing but six c zero x to the power six plus six c one x to the power five into one by x plus six c two to x to the power four one by x square plus six c three into x to the power into 1 by x to the power 3 plus 64 into x to the power 2 into 1 by x to the power 4 okay plus 65 into x to the power 1 into 1 by x to the power 5 plus 66 into x to the power 0 into 1 by x to the power 6 okay so uh, this can include two x to the power 6 plus uh, 6x to the power 4 plus uh, 15x square plus 20 plus 15 by x square plus 6 by x to the power 4 plus 1 by x to the power 6. Okay. So this is complete expression of this term. Okay. And in this case, we have a part of the question part. We have to find values find out like numerical values of some big exponent. So, in this part, we have to find out the exponent key values find out using binomial. Okay. So let's say we have to find 99 to the power 5. Okay. So, we can write it as 100 minus 1 to the power 5. Okay. And now you can expand this, so this will be 5c0 into 100 to the power 5 minus 5c1 into 100 to the power 4. Uh, 1 ki koi bhi power ka value 1 hi to se uh, ignore kar rahe hain. So this will be minus 5 plus 5c2 into 100 to the power 3 plus 5c3 and it's square. Plus five C four This will be ten to the power ten minus five and two. Plus 10 into um, 10 to the power 6 minus 10 into 
that to the power four plus five into ten to the power two minus one. Okay. <coughs> so इसे calculate करें तो ये आता है कुछ nine five zero double nine zero four double nine okay. और इसे आप कैलकुलेटर से भी कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं या फिर न्यूमेरिकली ये बात जैसे मैं भी कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं सो लाइक द सेम है ये तो फॉर दिस 102 ये तो राइट प्लस 2 टू द पावर 5 एंड अगेन दैट इज टाइम्स लाइक एनसीआर 100 टू द पावर एन माइनस आर इज द 2 टू द पावर आर द समेशन ऑफ दिस टर्म विल बी योर फाइनल आंसर ओके So after this, like uh, if we try the question number ten, so so like in this part, you are asked uh, which one is greater, one point one to the power. Okay. So, like uh, in this term, you can write as uh, one plus uh, zero point one to the power one thousand. Okay, so this would be like uh, if we uh, write uh, this as cancel in a reverse order, so this would be ten thousand C. Ten thousand into okay. Uh, let's uh, write in a uh, normal order only. So the first term would be one plus uh, ten thousand C one into. So this would be ten thousand into zero point one to the power one. Okay. Yes, there will be some other first few times. Okay. So this would be like ten thousand into zero point one. So this would be one thousand and plus one. Okay, so this would be one thousand one plus uh, some other positive term. Okay, so this will always be greater than one thousand. Okay, so you can straight forward say that uh, this value will always be greater than one uh, thousand. So uh, after this, if we see the question number eleven, okay. So uh, this is like a plus b to the power four minus a minus b to the power four, okay. So if you uh, quickly observe this thing, then this would be like. A, Uh, let's uh, forget about the exponent. Let's uh, only think about the coefficient. So, its coefficient would be like four c zero, four c one, four c two, four c three, and four c four. Okay, and the coefficient of this would be like four c zero minus four c one plus four c two minus four c three and plus four c four. Okay, this would be coefficient. And there is another additional minus sign. Okay. So if you multiply minus sign inside the bracket, then this would be like minus plus. This would be minus plus, and this would be minus. Okay. And when you add uh, these two terms, okay. So what happens after adding? Uh, you will only be getting like uh, two times of four c one and four c three. Okay. Uh, rest of the term uh, will always uh, eventually get cancelled. Okay, so the answer will be two times of so four c one into e to the power three into b to the power one plus so four c three into e to the power one b to the power three. Okay, so 
the so then this should be like four c one is four okay so eight times a q b one plus a b q okay so this should be eight times of a b a square plus b square okay and uh, you have to observe you have to find the value of the a equal to root c and b equal to root c okay so if you put the value in here then this would be eight times of the root six into b plus c okay so this would be what root six okay this would be our answer okay Uh, similarly, like uh, in the twelfth uh, part, also like uh, here uh, you have to think like uh, x plus one to the power six plus x minus one to the power six. Okay, so like if you observe this term, then the coefficient like uh, minus of six uh, c one minus six c three minus six c five. This will all get cancelled, and uh, the only term should be like two times of. Uh, Six C zero x to the power five plus six C two into x to the power four plus six C four x to the power two plus six C six into one. Okay, so this will be final uh, expression of these two additions. Okay, and uh, in the last uh, stage, we can put uh, x equal to root two, and that will be your answer. Okay. So P move to the question number thirteen now. So this should be. And I think uh, you have said that nine to the power n plus one minus eight n minus nine is. Divisible by sixty-four. Okay, so you have to prove that. Okay, so if we uh, see nine to the power n plus one, then this would be like one plus a to the power n plus one. Okay, and now we can expand uh, this uh, terms. Okay, so this would be nine to the power n plus one equal to n plus one c zero plus n. Plus one c one into eight plus n plus one c two into a two square plus n plus one c three into a cube and so on. And the last term would be n plus one c n plus one into a two the power n plus one. Okay. So if you observe this expression, that this would be This would be one plus n plus one times of eight plus sixty four times of n plus one c two and uh, this should be uh, more terms like uh, and if you observe all the terms after this terms okay so the eight square will always be present okay. So you can take sixty four common from all of them. So this will be n plus one c two and plus n plus one c three and the sixty four common ले लेंगे तो यहाँ से eight की power two कम हो जाएगा. Okay, so this will be eight to the power one and plus n plus one c n plus one into यहाँ से हो जाएगा eight to the power n minus one. Okay. और इस टर्म को अगर कंबाइन करके लेफ्ट साइड में ले जाए तो हमारा हो जाएगा एन प्लस एट नाइन टू दी पावर एन प्लस वन माइनस एट एन माइनस नाइन इक्वल टू सिक्सटी फोर इन टू के ओके वेर जहाँ पे ये के हमारा इस पूरे टर्म्स को हम अजीम कर रहे हैं कि ये कोई कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म के ओके सो यू कैन से दैट द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज सिक्सटी फोर टाइम्स ऑफ समथिंग नंबर ओके So this is definitely divisible by sixty four. Okay.
so if we see the last four questions, that is question number 14. Then it is given that you have to prove that uh, some is amount of r equal to 0 to n a to the power r and c r is equal to 4 to the power n. So uh, this is nothing but the reverse of the binomial formula. Okay, so if you see this expansion, then this should be like a r equal to 0, this should be like 1 plus n c 0 and c1 into t plus n c2 into t square plus n c n into t to the power n. And this is nothing but 1 plus k to the power n. Okay. So this should be equal to 4 to the power n. Okay. So this was the simple proof for this. And uh, this concludes our uh, main exercise part. and. Uh, if we quickly see the miscellaneous part as well, okay. So there are some six questions and uh, there are some good questions. So let's quickly try this uh, part as well, okay. So, oh, like if you see the question number one, okay. So, this is said that the proof that a minus b is the factor of a to the power n minus b to the power n. Okay, so, uh, this, if you see the Hint is given as well in the question. So a to the power n is given a minus b plus b to the power n. Okay. And we are said to expand this. Okay. So if you expand this like if you consider this term as a one term x and this some term as a y, then this would be like a nc0 into x to the power n plus nc1 into x to the power n minus 1 into y and so on the last term would be nc1 nc1 into x to the power 0 into y to the power n okay. and if you put the value of x and y then this would be like a minus b to the power n plus n to the power a minus b to the power n minus 1 into b Plus plus this would be like b to the power n. Okay. If you take um, minus b to the power n to this side, then this would be like a to the power n minus b to the power n is equal to. And uh, you can say uh, like uh, fill this term and c n minus one, there will be a minus b into b to the power n minus one. Okay. So in the remaining terms, like from here to here, okay. Uh, you can take a minus b as a common okay and the remaining would be like something called a z okay so you can say that a minus a to the power n minus b to the power n can be written as a minus b to the power into z okay so uh, a minus b is a factor of So this is a simple proof for this part. Okay. So like uh, if we see the next question, that is question number two. Root three plus root two to the power six minus root three minus root to the power six. Okay. Like uh, we had evaluated this part in the above. If you see the question number. 11 as well so only difference is that there are two additional terms in this part of um, the exponent is 6 but whereas the exponent here was uh, 4 okay so there would be only uh, one additional term so you can see uh, you can do this by above method okay so if we move to our next part that is question number 3 
so and you have to find the value of light in e square plus and the value e square minus one to the power four plus e square minus and the value e square minus one to the power four. So you can consider something like x plus y to the power four plus x minus y to the power four. Okay. So the terms, uh, the general term, uh, the final expression would be something like four uh, c zero into x to the power four plus four c two into x square y square four c four into um, y to the power four. Okay. The terms like four c one and four c three will get cancelled. Okay. So if we put the values, then this would be like a A to the power A to plus four C two is six times of A to the power four into A square minus one plus four C two four C four is one into A square minus one whole square of A. So this will be uh, final uh, expansion for this question, and uh, you can further simplify by collecting the like terms together, and you can get the final answer of A. For the question number four part, okay, so we have to find the value of zero point nine nine to the power of five, okay. So like uh, the above part, you can consider it as zero point zero one to the power five, okay. One minus zero point zero one to the power five, okay. And the after expansion, you can consider it as a five c zero into one. Five C one into zero point zero one to the power one plus five C two into zero point zero one whole square minus five C three into zero point zero one to the power three plus five C four into zero point zero one to the power four minus five C five into zero point zero one to the power five okay. But uh, you have to find the value of uh, terms till the first three terms. But here the terms should be like uh, greater than three decimal. Okay. So you can ignore these two terms. Okay. So in fact, uh, even in this term, the decimal would be greater than three. So you can just consider these three terms for the uh, for the answer part. So. The answer would be like one minus five into zero point zero one plus ten into zero point zero one whole square. Okay, so the final answer would be zero point nine five one. Okay, so like uh, for the question number five and six, six uh, there are three terms in a binomial extension. Okay, so like uh, uh, till now we have just considered the expression of the terms like. Uh, A plus B to the power n, but uh, we never saw the expansion like A plus B plus C to the power n. So in this question, it is asked. So what we do here is that uh, we consider something like A plus B plus C to the power n. Okay, and now you can consider this as a one term x and this as a y. Okay, so you know that uh, the terms of the expansion will be something like A plus B to the power r. Okay. So in that case, you will again have to expand this using binomial. Okay. So this is something like a binomial inside binomial. Okay. So like if you quickly see the question number five. Then this would be something like a. One plus x by two minus two by x to the power four. Okay, so uh, you can consider these two terms as a one term and this as another term. Okay, so if we expand, then this would be something like a four c zero into one plus x by two to the power four minus four c one into one plus x by two to the power three into Two y x plus four c two plus x by two to the four square into 
फोर बाई एक्स स्क्र माइनस फोर सी थ्री इंटू वन प्लस एक्स बाई टू इंटू एट बाई एक्स क्यूब प्लस टू फोर सी फोर इंटू सिक्सटीन बाई एक्स टू दी पावर फोर ओके Now uh, you can extend the these terms separately again, and uh, these two terms are uh, like x square and single x to power one. So you can uh, normally extend them rather than binomial. Okay. So like four c zero is one into, and if we uh, extend uh, this uh, term, so so this would be like one plus four into x by two. Plus six into square by four plus six into x cube by eight plus this will be four okay, and this will be x cube by four by sixteen okay. This will be minus. Four C one is four into. If you extend this term again now, so this would be like one plus three into x by two uh, plus three into x square by four plus x cube by eight. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, the term would be like uh, there will be two y x multiplication. And then this will be like six into one plus two into x by two plus x square by four and uh, into four by x square. Okay, minus of four times of one plus x by two into eight by x cube. Plus sixteen by x to the power four. Okay. So like uh, if we group the like terms together, then this final term comes up to the this uh, form. so uh, this is uh, our final extension where we come up to yeah so like uh, the same way for the question number this also you can consider first two terms as a single term and Last term as separate term, and then you can expand it that part as well. Okay, so yeah, so that's all for this exercise, and uh, uh, this conclude the binomial part. And uh, after this chapter, like you, you will have sufficient understanding of uh, how to expand the binomial terms, and uh, in the use of uh, binomial coefficient and finding the values uh, of uh, some big exponent. Okay. So uh, that's all about this chapter, and uh, we'll be meeting back in our next chapter. So till then, bye bye. Have a good day.